Good morning, friends. I have heard from many in this time that what has been sustaining is to be outside in nature, uh, to take notice of the way spring is evolving in Minnesota and beyond, and to take joy in the wind on the face and the greenery around us and the multitude of water that we can be near. And this has reminded me of a favorite poem by Wendell Berry, The Peace of Wild Things. When despair for the world grows in me and I wake in the night at the least sound, in fear of what my life and my children's lives may be, I go and lie down where the wood drake rests in his beauty on the water and the great heron feeds. I come into the peace of wild things who do not tax their lives with forethought of grief. I come into the presence of still water and I feel above me the day blind stars waiting with their light. For a time I rest in the grace of the world and am free. Parker Palmer, who is one of my favorite spiritual writers, says this about the poem. I can't lie down where the wood drake rests in the beauty on the water, but if I use my imagination, I can rest in the beauty of this poem. And then he says this, an anxious imagination can take us into the heart of darkness and deeper isolation. But an empathetic imagination, born of our own suffering, can bring us closer to one another and to the comfort that comes from dwelling more deeply in our shared humanity and our shared earth. And so in these days, when there is so much anxiety and worry, and our imagination rests in the anxiousness, perhaps we can, with God's help, move that to an empathetic imagination, to imagining the goodness that might come from this time, to imagine the multitude of ways we can still be connected with one another, to imagine that which truly sustains us, a wood drake, a blooming tree, the greening of the earth, the beauty of the water. I pray for each one of you an empathetic imagination. Amen.